Izzy here at Digital Goja. I'd like to go over one of the frequently asked questions about the Canon Rebel T7i. As always, if the video helps you, don't forget to hit us up with a like button underneath. And if you're in the Miami area, come say hello at our Digital Goja showroom. How does the photo assist feature work on the T7i? Quite well. This is meant to get out of the intelligent auto mode. So you can work with it on program mode and it allows you to do a couple of variations in your settings. But of course, it's really meant to work with your time value, your aperture value, and your manual setting. But it makes it very intuitive to be able to now do these settings on your camera. Let me show you how this works. All right, so here the photo assist works better when we go into, you can even work in program mode. And for example, in program mode, you can actually do exposure compensation by touching it on the screen here. And you can even switch over to manual focus as you to choose to, and it allows you to choose the focusing method. But I prefer working with the actual way to do something like this, where you want to customize your shutter priority so you again choose the appropriate shutter speed and it still helps you right on the screen giving you the information to boot. Aperture value, that way you can control your bokeh. So again, you have the capability of changing it right on the screen and it always consistently helps you out. You can also work with the command wheel, but if you prefer working with a touchscreen, absolutely have at it because this is one of the best in the business and then you have full manual exposure where now I am in control so I'm choosing shutter speed f-stop and ISO so there you have it the photo assist feature from Canon well I hope I was able to answer your question about the Canon Rebel T7i if I didn't please place it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get to it and answer it for you and, as always, subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting.